Hi, it's Angela Nesbitt and welcome to my color story. We are continuing today with the behind the scenes look at my new beach series that's on its way. Um, today we are going to look at these two paintings and the big question today is the what one thing did I decide in order to start these paintings? They were easy to get sketched out and um, to come up with that inspiration, but then it was like, what's next? So here we are deciding one big thing and then we will, that will help me decide the rest of the decisions I need to make to get the underpaintings and get these paintings started. So we'll start with the boy with the red bucket. So the first decision I had to make with him was I made the decision of the red bucket. So that's a true, just good old nautical red blue relationship. So the red bucket, I put a reference to the red in and based on that red, I use an ultramarine blue um, or I'm going to use an ultramarine blue. I used it a little bit here and in shorts as my blue because it has more red in it than like a turquoise or a cerulean blue which has more yellow in it. So based on that, my underpainting that will go under the reference to water ended up being an orange red based on that ultramarine blue. So I put that in. I have a little bit of depth here which is just an earthy um, dark color and a dark here for later to have great um, shiny reflections. So that's how I got started on this palette um, for the red bucket. The girls are very, very different. For this one, um, I decided to use three. My choice here was I'm going to use three really interesting blues that I don't normally use. So I picked Vice by Vasari, which is, these are all really beautiful grayed down blues. They're not very, um, they're not very bright, but they're gorgeous. Um, a blue ochre that's made by Robert Doak, and he no longer makes paint, unfortunately, but um, I have a lot of his paints, so I've continued to use them. And um, a bright linen by Charmin. So um, based on these blues, they're all grayed down. I was able to determine that my underpainting here was going to be an, you know, an orange, which is the complement, but I needed it to be more of an earthy, grayed down, not super bright orange. So I picked a transparent earth orange, and that's what this, this color here is. I went ahead and just put some depth in here um, and also a little popped in a little bit of one of the blues just so that the next pass I'll kind of have that visual. The dresses are going to remain um, a white um, dress so I just put in shadow and light and again I put in a dark band here so I'll have great reflections um, on my final passes. So that's how I decided um, how to get these two started. I'm going to do a mixing demo over in Angela's Color Story on Facebook, so join us there on those blues. So um, if you want to get an up close and personal on those, join us there and um, continue making that one big decision um, for your next paintings. And I'd love to hear about how this might help in your decision making process and get you going in, in your next painting. So please share and um, have a great week and take care.